Lighting the sacred fires, the keepers of the flame light 365 candles here every day at dusk. This is Lalesh in the mountains of northern Iraq. Yazidis believe it's the first place the sun's rays ever touched. To the Yazidi, everything here is sacred, including the trees. Faqi Jamal's father and grandfather watched over this shrine. It's normally a place of peace. We've been walking this earth for a long time, since the time of the Sumerians, the Assyrians, and the Babylonians, and we never abused anyone. We have always tried to live peacefully. But with the killings of hundreds of Yazidis by Islamic State fighters and the capture of Yazidi women, it's become a place of desperation. Sheikh Adi, rescue us. Your people are suffering. They've killed your sons and daughters. Sheikh Adi, save our lives. The normally quiet streets of Lalesh are packed with families who fled from Sinjar when the fighters seized their town. Even here, Islamic State fighters are fewer than 60 kilometers away. The young people especially are desperate to leave Iraq. Lalesh is sacred, but people came here because it's safe. They're just not sure for how long. The Yazidis say they've suffered more than 70 massacres in their history. But never anything like this that makes so many of them want to completely leave their land. Sadi Elias broke his back in a car accident in Sinjar two months ago. When the Islamic State fighters came to their village, his father and brother carried him up Sinjar Mountain. After seven days on the mountain, they walked for 12 hours down again into Syria and back into northern Iraq. They're staying in a school in a nearby town. Inside the temple, he ties knots in the silk to ask for peace for the Yazidis. And he says to give thanks that God gave him one more chance to visit Lalesh. Jane Araf, Al Jazeera, Lalesh, northern Iraq.